Enable notifications by ringing the bell. The time is here for Heather to be completely, well, not completely, more so in the light of our jokes than ever before. Ah, it's happening! Ben is so excited for me to see Ghost. I'm Mystery. really excited. A movie that is, and I quote, 34 years old. Oh, why Holy would shit. you? Oh, God, my heart. I feel like a... Oh, that hurts to think about. So, this movie is 12 years older than me. Yeah. This movie's older than me, and I'm the oldest person here. Mm-hmm. This movie is just, like, it. it's fantastic. It's so, so good. And I will do my best not to quote the entire thing word for word. Because I can. <laughs> um... So I know you did Silence of the Lambs. Yes. Which is kind of like a thriller, almost horror movie. I had a good time. Straight comedy all the way through this one. I'm going to love it. Yeah, it's so good. Um, with shades of thrill, with shades of uh, I mean, there's horror. there's a little, just a little bit of spoop in there. Mm-hmm. It comes and goes, but it comes and goes in such a, like a fluid fashion. Yeah. It's not like, it's not constantly just like, but, 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 like, uh, Evil Dead 2. Okay. It's m- a lot more comedy, but you're. What's Evil Dead 2? <laughs> yeah, it's not like you're wearing a shirt <laughs> for Evil Dead 2 or anything. That's a sweet shirt. I've said it before. I'll say it again. That's a sweet shirt. I love this shirt. It's, it's real good. Okay, so. But it's also. Groovy. You knew I was going to do that, right? <clears throat> so here's one I thing about this yeah. film. This film has been quoted. This film has... In all honesty, this film has been quoted so much over ever since its release that it's almost ridiculous. Yeah. And, like, there are little, like, hints of parody to this movie. In a lot of things. I mean, to be fair, I even know quotes from it. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know them because I quote it a lot? Well, they just come up a lot. Yeah, it's true. who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. It's... Yeah. That's a big Twinkie. Look, I (laughs) I know. Yeah, like, there's the bit in uh, the very first Casper the Friendly Ghost movie where they have the the cameos of different like paranormal investigators, mm-hmm. and one of them is <laughs> uh, Dan Aykroyd as his character from this movie, and the guy goes, "Hey, who are you gonna call? Someone else." <laughs> also, guys, if you haven't noticed, I'm real comfortable today. Yeah, Chico hey. also pretty comfy, although he's real mad that he's not on that blanket. But if he gets on that blanket, he's going to be real mad whenever Heather shifts around. So he's just going to stay over here. Yeah. <laughs> it's for the best. I figured if we're watching a movie and I don't feel good, I'm going to lay down. Absolutely. So. You've got that whole end of the couch to stretch out on. Why don't you? Oh, she just dropped her phone. Yeah. It's okay. I have another one. Um. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, um. Okay. You kind of sound like that one kid from that one. That no. one Try Not to Cringe Challenge. It's like. This, uh, this. Oh, I dropped Mac- the one I care about. This MacBook is for personal. It's for incoming emails. This MacBook is for outgoing emails. This oh, MacBook God. Is, for, is for. I hate spam. that video. No, guys, what happened was I had a phone through AT and T, but I switched to Straight Talk, so now I have a Straight Talk phone, and I still have the phone. And that and that phone from AT and T is basically a tablet. It's become a tablet because I can't get used to the smaller screen, so I still use that one for basically everything except for calls and text. I respect this. Like, you know, it's just like having a phone and a tablet. Yeah. It's fine. So I, I have two it. phones. I don't mind it. I'm just... Let me see if I can find her phone. There it is. I got it. Yay. Okay. See, this is a Note 8. It's just going to become a tablet. Yep. Or a ticking time bomb. No, oh, they'd work that out seven. by... Yeah. 
That was the S7. The only expectation for fucking the Note 8 was not to explode. That was actually a mod that they put in uh, GTA. Uh-huh. Exploding. Like, they, they replaced the grenades with exploding Galaxy S7s. Yeah. It was Galaxy Note 7s. Oh, it was Note 7? I thought yes. it was S7. It was Note. <clears throat> so because I go. was nervous about getting a Note 8, but I really wanted it. Well, the Note 8 doesn't explode. Yet. It doesn't. I mean, look, I can make we that happen. We by now. All right. Considering Remember what when I we wanted to thing. shoot that phone? Yeah, yeah, but, but it, I'm not willing to but stop it's using too it nice. on Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's too nice now. She's enjoying it too much. Yes. When I get my iPad Pro, we'll shoot it. No. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll figure it out. No need for that. But anyway, you you, you need to watch Ghostbusters. It's really good. Well, we're going. Yeah. Well, I know. It's, it's ready. I'm trying to get us there. All right. This movie's so good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. Because we're going for a bumpy ride. Wait. Okay, I guess it just started later than I thought. Yeah. Good old theremin sound. We gotta get that good soundtrack in there. Yeah, the theremin. Yeah. That that sweet, sweet Elmer Bernstein soundtrack. Yeah. That effect, like, so much of this, like, you can tell where it's not practical effects. You can tell. Yeah. And you know that that was, like, that was practical effects. Something strange. Oh, yes. Yes. This is from that song. Oh, my God, Heather. Yeah. That Neil's whatever song. So hard he lost his gum. Uh -huh. It's such like. Yes. I'm a scientist. Great. I say that a lot too. Yes, you do. You say that. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. <laughs> it's so good. Do exactly as I say. Ready? Ready? Get her! <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> that turn, just like that. Uh, so good. <coughs> Get her. Does this ball still work? <clears throat> wow, this place is great. <laughs> when can we move in? You've got to try this pool. I'm gonna get my stuff. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> we should stay here tonight. Sleep here. There was Egon trying to work a hustle. And then yeah. All of a sudden, he was trying. Ray and By Ray God, he was it. trying. Oh, yeah. He was giving a good spiel, too. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he's probably right. Yeah. Probably wasn't lying. And Sigourney Weaver. Like, yeah. You're now, just like now you're... Wa watch. Oh, oh nope. Uh -huh. Intentionally bad. Too. Yeah, it's so bad. It's actually, you if you go back and you watch it, you'll actually look at Egon look down at the tape marker to where to step to. Yeah. He's like, it's blatantly bad. You know, that actually kind of made me go, wow. Yeah. That's that's a really cool practical effect. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's it's a like hot a plate in there. It's like a giant hot plate yeah. under that, and it's it conducts the... Uh, it looks like tile, but it actually conducts heat pretty. Yep. Oh. What the fuck? Janine is her favorite. Janine, Janine's really cool. I love Janine. Annie Potts is fantastic. Sorry about the bug eyes thing. I'll be in my office. <laughs> that doesn't look safe. That's fine. <laughs> He's on a blanket. Just it's fine. Peers out, peers out with a cigarette yeah. in his mouth, like, eh? Huh? Watch. Can I help you? I don't have an appointment. I'm Peter Venkman. 
<laughs> Bill, <laughs> Bill Murray doing his own stunts. Well, uh, She's telling the truth. At least she thinks she is. <laughs> She's telling the truth. What, who would make a story like that? Some are people who just want attention. Others just nutballs who come in off the street. I'll bet you're going to be thinking about me after I'm gone. I bet I am. No kiss. Out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he locked himself out again. It keeps happening. Totally. Thank you. Totally. We got one! I do that too! He comes down chopsticks and uh, yeah. still with a box of food. I have that tag. Carly got it for me for Christmas. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> totally. It's a street. Listen to that damn. Listen to that damn alarm. I love that fucking car. Ecto one. Baby. The Ecto one. It's a classic. Ah, the Sedgwick. Yes. Everybody, this movie's supposed to be perfect. some kind of a cosmonaut. <laughs> no, we're exterminators. Somebody saw a cockroach up on twelve. That's got to be some cockroach. Bite your, Bite your head off, man. I'll take I'll the, next the next one. one. I love that guy so much. <laughs> Since they're chopping out a cigarette. a completely successful test of this equipment. I blame myself. So do I. Why worry? Behold. <laughs> yeah. Beckman? Beckman! That scream. It's quietly discreet. Totally. Just this, this. I can actually see you doing that to somebody. In I do. <laughs> He's an ugly little spot, isn't he? I, I think, think he can hear, hear you, Ray. <laughs> it won't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> there are fun facts about this movie and this particular ghost. Oh, you're not ready. <laughs> I did that. I did that. That's my fault. It's okay. The table broke the fall. Wait, 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 wait. I've always wanted to do this. And? The lower are still dead. Okay, on my go. I do that all the time. All right, I'm opening the trap now. Don't look directly into the trap. I looked at the trap, Ray. <laughs> Every time. Get ready. Well, that wasn't such a chore, now, was it? Just for yourself. <laughs> I say that all the time. Miss McKee, I'm going to let the door open now. Stand over. My grandma used to spin yarns about a spin. Denim Dan in the background. Yeah, just like, hey. Look, check it out. He's like, hey, check out my beard, man. No, it's Micah. It's Denim Micah. Hey. Look, he's got the hat on. I'd never noticed that Ray has the hat on. <laughs> the phone and topic today, ghosts and ghost busting. How is Elvis, and have you seen him lately? What the hell? Oh, this. Well, oh, Ray. This is a cut scene. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ray. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's out. <coughs> and here he is. Winston. If there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. <laughs> the everyman. Yes. You don't look good. Ghostbusters, what do you want? <laughs> it's a very Elaine line. Me? I represent yeah. the environment. <coughs> the third district. Great. How's it going? <laughs> just bloop. We just had a visit from the Environmental Protection Agency. How's the grid old man? Not good. Tell him about the Twinkie. What about the Twinkie? What about the Twinkie? 
<laughs> That's such a good line. And delivered out of context. Yeah. Makes no sense, but with that, yeah. it's perfect. Tell him about the Twinkie. About the Twinkie. Yep. That effect is also really yeah. fucking cool. That's a that's a bed sheet. That's a that's a bed yeah. sheet stretched really thin. That or that stretched really tight and has a what is it? A, a, Probably like a the prosthetic from this, just like against it. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, so that bad. it's so bad, but it's so good at the same time. Like it's that right level of cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> the old lady is just like it adds so much, <clears throat> and her reaction was perfect. Just oh, ah! <laughs> Oh, the perfect. Snubs. It's perfect. <clears throat> boys, boys, you're scaring the straights. Ray, has it ever occurred to you that maybe the reason we've been so busy lately is because the dead have been rising from the grave? Uh, think about it. How about a little music? That slow turn is fantastic. Also, ah. wow. I didn't even do anything. You don't have to. Chico, no care. Start running. Uh huh. Time start. Time to go. Start moving. Hi. What did he tell you? What did he say? Does that seem like a weird smash cut to you? Did you? Yeah. Did you not listen to him? Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? Give it time. It's gonna make sense. And now it makes sense. There's that splattering sound you were waiting for. And that's that's partially why I'm he gone. Just your mother. Oh look, there was some foreshadowing. Subtle. Jeez, a little bit. We're all attracted to one thing. That's also re like really cool. She's just standing there as it happens. That's how it looks. It's so good. I gotta get my own lawyer. Okay, go, go. Hey! hey. Spanish Carl Winslow. Winslow. I gotta split the bear once the rabbit. Oh, sorry. There we go. <laughs> I thought we were doing fist bones. I don't know. Like, oh. I don't know anymore. I don't really care. I guarantee you, internally, Lewis is looking at this like, oh, this is weird. But. But Dana, I like it. But Dana, I've always Just, been infatuated by her. Here we go. It's like. Oh. <laughs> it's real awkward, isn't it? What do you mean, biblically? What he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yeah. Mayor. I know this is a weird timing, Ben. Yeah. But did you call the place? Shit. <laughs> I got time. Okay. Cats living together. Mass hysteria. I've heard you say that. Before. Yep. Of registered voters. <laughs> Appeal to the politician. Yeah. <laughs> he gets it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? Yes. Like. Yeah, everybody's praying. Yeah. The Every, Catholics, the everybody's team. there. Yeah. Everybody's ready. Only, and you know why you can't see the Muslims? Because they're all knelt down on the ground on their roads. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, the red hair guy. Yeah. You saw him when they were pulling up, right? He was like jumping up and down. Uh -huh. Ultra excited. Like he's Ghostbusters' biggest fan. Let's be professionals. <laughs> Everybody's just losing it. It's so good. Oh yeah. 
Uh. <coughs> Hello? Yeah. Just like... Is everything still happening? Hey. Oh, it's a good thing I wore these elbow pads. Well, they They're carry carrying like 80 nuclear. pounds on their backs. Yeah, nuclear accelerators. And I mean, they've that. got the, the weight distribution gear, like the military style. Um, like the Molly harness is uh, what they call that, it. Look yeah. at that smile. And he's just like, yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like, was it good for you? It was for me. Lucy, I'm home. That poor piano. Hey, where'd these stairs go? They go up. <laughs> yup. <laughs> you knew that was coming. <laughs> I watched the reaction on her face. Go ahead, come on, come on. Everybody, go on, come on. After you, gentlemen. After you, come on. <laughs> Here, that's the cheesy bit. And then, smash cut to bleached white skeleton, and well, you know. Smash cut to shaved ugly dog. Okay. Okay. So, she's a dog. She's a dog. Go get her, Ray. <laughs> that slow turn. Yep. That look is. Yep. Go get her, Ray. Well. Also, the callback to the beginning. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's. It's a little cheese ball, but it's. Real good. Ray. Ray. When someone asks you if you're a god, say yes! Let's show, show this prehistoric, prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. downtown. What? Oh my gosh. Hey. In heels, no In heels. less. Yes. <laughs> and she's gone. Look! No! The cat's what is the cat what did you do, Ray? Oh <laughs> Me and my dad, we say it to each other a lot uh -huh. whenever someone of us does something something wrong. <laughs> it's like, what did you do, Ray? It's the stay puffed marshmallow man. <laughs> <laughs> remember how I was talking about foreshadowing? I remember you playing the video game. Uh-huh. There's like two or three spots where it shows the Stay Puft logo and him specifically. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Say that too. Uh-oh. And Walter Peck's just like, what the... Nice lady who paid us in advance before she became a dog. Yeah. I love, I love this plan. plan. I'm excited I'm to be a part of it. Let's, Let's do it. <laughs> I say that too. <laughs> so is it isn't worth 11 five a year. They made the, they made the tips touch. That's such a cool shot, right? Oh, yep, and here you go. That Raiders of the Lost Ark effect, where the clouds just poof. Unpack. He's angry. Money shot. Ding. <laughs> I got Nate, I'm happy. That was a good one. Yeah, thank that you. Was a good one. Thank you. I try. I love this song. Who are you gonna call?
<laughs> that man's in shock. Ernie Hudson. Yes. Oh, man. Elmer Bernstein. Elmer Bernstein. There it is. And now you understand the reference. <laughs> Why would we want to watch the Santa Clarita diet after this? I don't want to watch it after this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. You've now seen Ghostbusters. All I can think of is a stupid song. I know. That's why I hate that <laughs> I song. I ain't afraid of no sleep. I ain't afraid, afraid of no bed. bed. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no sleep. Now, do you it's understand? Freaking, like, you know the guy that did Potter Puppet Pals? Neil. Um, Neil C. C. Erga? Oh. No. He yeah, it's... makes music with memes, and there's a whole lot yeah, like, of A lot no of the, sleep. the stuff that Elena has played. Oh, that? Yeah. That's him. Oh. Uh... Yeah. Do you now understand why I hate I that song? I understand your hell. So some damn much. That whole renegade behind the scenes. I think it's episode nine. Where it's just us in the car. There's a, a part where there's a Ghostbusters like part of it. Yeah, it's 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 no Ghostbusters. Scene. And Carly gets recut. so excited when it's like busting makes me feel good. She does. She gets so <laughs> excited. And I thought it was talking about like busting a nut. It, so. it in that context, it, that's what he means. Yeah, the context okay. of the song. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not what the original song is anything like. But it's <laughs> ghost busting like Yeah. Busting ghosts. Yeah. And I ain't here, no sleep. Here's the thing about Ghostbusters the, the the theme song originally uh Dan Aykroyd contacted uh contacted Huey Lewis oh to man do the, to do the theme yeah song. so originally it was going to be Huey Lewis I really in the like news it though singing singing the song but instead Huey Lewis had to back out because of prior commitments and he got Ray Parker to do it and he told Ray Parker he wanted something similar to Huey Lewis and actually Huey Lewis got mad because he said it sounded too similar yeah. to his music. And it's just like, yeah. I really like it. I, you liked it? Mm-hmm. Hey, there this, we go. This movie is one of my all-time favorites, as you can tell, because I quote it so damn constantly. much. You I constantly. really do. I, I quote it. You quote it a lot more than I do. When I, I do. decided I wanted to do Ghostbusters next, it was like we couldn't do it without you. Oh, no. Well, like, when she said, uh, I think we're going to do Ghostbusters next... I got so excited. Cause when like, it comes, I love this movie. So basically, the TV shows have been from Nate, but all of the movies I've been picking. Yeah. So Pretty much. Oh, man. I, can't, I don't know which one we're going to do next. Well, well, there's a, a few suggestions I can definitely levy upon you. Uh, one that I think that you will like. Uh, well, actually, I don't think we should mention them here because we want to try and keep... Oh, yeah, we should definitely keep we that. Well, we can list potentials. Okay. Because I haven't seen any of the Star Wars. But okay. I don't know if I'm ready to jump Oh, up. that's going to be a whole fucking thing. That'll have to be like, like that's a, a whole day. That's I a... feel like that should be once I'm able to do full time. Yes. And... That will be the celebration of full time Heather. Yeah. Um, full time Heather. The, okay. So. <laughs> we're going to get there. So. It's going to happen. In terms of films that I know, that I think you will like, there are two. One is a, one is a, com- one is a comic book action film. And the other is a uh, and the other is a thriller akin to Silence of the Lambs. The action uh, the action comic book movie that I'm talking about is The Crow. We actually yeah. talked about that. Oh man! Early. Yeah, because I said oh, because I man. said the lead character in that is pretty much Gerard Way. If Gerard Way were horrendously murdered and came yeah back, came back to life, and mm-hmm. what's the other one? Uh, Seven. Seven oh, is a lot man. like Silence of the Lambs, and features probably one of the best <clears throat> features probably one of the best twists that nobody will ever okay. see. Coming. It's well, so actually, good. Actually, I have an idea. Go All ahead. right, let's go ahead and uh, start our outro. Okay. So, I'll do it this time. Actually. Go All ahead. right. Hey, you do it. So we have a Patreon now. And if you're on YouTube, you're watching the edited version because of, due to, you know, copyright, we can't post the whole movie on YouTube. However, for $10 a month, every Heather Hasn't Seen video, every Monday through Friday upload we do of Heather Hasn't Seen mm-hmm. in its entirety is available to you on Patreon. And this is, this is what, movie 
three. This yeah. is movie three, ah. and we're doing Game of Thrones. We've done some Cowboy Bebop, some Full Metal Alchemist. We have, we want to do at least one movie every week, and we're doing at least uploads Monday through Friday. Sometimes, we're doing our best. Sometimes more than one. So it's definitely worth the $10 a month, I believe. And I mean, I'd like to think you so. get access to the polls, and the polls. The, the polls next... you get access to for what a dollar? Yeah, one yeah. dollar gets you. So one dollar gets you um, some <laughs> early access to yeah. reactions. Gets you access to the polls on, hey, what do you think are shows we should watch? Now, please note. We're not just taking suggestions from the patrons. No. You but, can definitely make requests on Discord still. But yeah, by absolutely. God, if if you like <clears throat> if you really want to make your voice heard, Patreon There's is, a lot fewer people on the Patreon than there are on Discord, I'll tell you that. Yeah. The next poll will be whether the next movie we watch should be The Crow or Seven. Oh. I like that. I, I'm okay, in. that's actually that's actually a good that's actually a good way to segue into that. That's a damn good poll. Yeah, I like it. I because like that. I love uh, this plan. I'm excited you, to be a part of it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. As you guys know, by the time you're watching this movie, I have just arrived back home, so we'll be able to watch it very soon. Yep. Yeah. So we'll let the poll go for a few days, and by next Monday, you'll have your answer. Yeah. You'll you'll see what you'll see what. Uh, what will be reacting Chico to. really doesn't like me being behind ah. him right now. <clears throat> I'm the food taster. Are you the burrito? Uh-oh. It, oh, I thought he was having a coughing. Uh, coughing he was getting bit. ready to. He, so, he also needs to go out, but I'm like, I want to I want to stick around until the end of the video. Well, so. So, so, Heather, <laughs> these three films so far, would you say that your experience with them has been good? I've liked all three films so far. That's good. I think I'm doing a good job picking the startup films. I think so. I think so. Well, I think yeah. so. Uh, and I mean, I know that there will be more suggestions from within the Renegades. Like I know at least one movie that Carly's going to suggest. I know uh, Elena's got a few suggestions. I've got several. Nate obviously has, you know, all all, all every suggestion. I have a litany. Uh, I'm very interested in like the classic horror that I haven't seen. All right, like House of a Thousand Corpses, I haven't seen. Uh, uh, you want to go classic horror? We should do some like Bela Lugosi, Dracula, Dracula. Oh, like Lord. go to the old the school. old universal i've actually seen nosferatu really yeah. you, okay that's well nosferatu's good nosferatu is very good but i will say this the bello lugosi dracula oh, is iconic it is and so i want to see i know it's not like horror but the rocky horror show rocky elena horror show? elena would be in on that carly and jacob would also be in on that I'm I'm not super big on it, although it's got its moments. I, I don't mind I mean, watching and, it again. I, I mean, haven't seen I've the seen... Christmas story, so when it comes Christmas time, we'll have to do You've that. You've never seen a Christmas story. Oh, boy. Considering that Nate, TBS and TNT hold on. play it at a constant rate during Christmas, 24 hours a day, you haven't seen it? Really? No. Get, get your mic back. But when Christmas time comes, we can watch it. There's... No, you know what else we have to do at Christmas? We have to do uh, the story of Nate going to high school. Die Hard. I knew that was the great. Oh, yeah, because you guys say it's a Christmas. Something. It's the greatest Christmas I movie. And we'll have to do Halloween and a bunch of like stuff in October. We'll do some spoopy stuff for. We can Halloween. do some spoopy stuff. I mean, see, guys, this is going to be long. This, we're like, never going to run this out is, of stuff. This is not a short series. We're never going to run out of stuff I haven't seen. <laughs> yeah, I don't true. go to movies. The here. list of what she has seen is. Surprisingly short. And now, all right, if you're going to make suggestions for this, I have one rule. Don't be like, oh my God, you have to watch this movie right now. Because then I'm not going to want to watch it. Because that's that's putting entirely too much pressure on it. Just be like, this is a good movie. I think you will enjoy it. Yeah. Because then you're not putting so much pressure on people and, you know... It's it's a little bit more chill about it. And so, if it's something know. we know I'm not going to like, we might not watch it. Yeah. But yeah. please, please make the suggestions because even as encyclopedic as Nate's movie knowledge is. 
we're gonna sometimes stuff slips through. Oh yeah, of course. And Nate will just be like, "Oh my god, that's a great suggestion. I've Why didn't I think of that?" I've seen suggestions for Attack on Titan, and I've seen Attack on Titan. So wow. I'm just jotting that down. That's on the short list. Things Heather has seen. Um. Oh, there's there's ideas. I know, I know for sure. I don't know if you'll enjoy it so much, but it's another movie with Dan Aykroyd, who was Ray, mm-hmm. the Blues Brothers. We'll have to watch. I that love now. that movie to death. I it's asked so my dad good. if there's one movie because my dad is 68 years old. I said, Dad, if there's one movie that you think people should watch before they die, what would it be? Did he say Highlander? No, he said, Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Where art thou? Is a very good movie. It is. It is. It's a. It's a country. It's a American. Oh, it's an Americana version of uh, of Ulysses. Of Ulysses, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. of the oh, Odyssey. Odyssey, yeah, um, with George Clooney. My dad, that's his favorite movie. It's a good one. Uh, it's it's. Speaking of George Clooney, can we do Ocean's Eleven? Okay, fine. Yes. Look. How do you feel about a good heist movie? A bunch of dry humor. Oh, I ruined Nate's life last night. No. Oh, what did no. you do? I was trying to explain why I didn't like Cowboy Bebop, and I couldn't come up with the right words, and so I was just slaughtering it. I understand this. I understand this. But I was trying to say I don't like the atmosphere and, like, the space Like, space, art space, style, film everything. noir, kind of, yeah. That's, yes. That's. You said it, film noir. So, Maltese Falcon is out. Well, here's the thing about film noir. It's not that film noirish because there's no overlaying, there's no overlaying, you know, uh, monologue or anything like that. That's... It's not. It's not like. It's not like Faye Valentine walks into a place. It's just like. It's. Mm-hmm. It's just like I shouldn't have walked in there. Like as soon as I saw I Faye Valentine, trouble. I hated her. Really? Yeah. Huh. For no other logical reason than she's drawn ugly. I didn't say she's ugly. I just don't like the art style. Give it time. Okay. Because well, she's a really good character. Well, we've said this. We've said this. Uh, we've we actually talked about this. Her tastes may change over time, and she may find herself curious to come back to it. So if we don't finish Cowboy Bebop, that's true. It's then, not like <clears throat> it's not like we can't come back to it. It's not go- like it's going anywhere. I mean, yeah. I mean, Nate owns the DVDs. It's not going anywhere. You own the Blu-ray. Yeah. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. Chico, honey. I'm going to take Chico out. Uh, why don't you guys finish the uh, outro? Okay. Uh, I think we're basically done. I think we're basically done. We've already talked about the Patreon. Um, talked a, about the Discord. A dollar gets you uh, access to the polls, access to it's uh, limited early access. Some, some reactions. Five dollars gets you full access to early reactions. Ten dollars gets you full access to the uncut, un- filtered uh all inclusive heather hasn't seen uh renegade recording for masterpiece. renegade masterpiece or masterpiece Depending. theater which ah! we're going to have to do some of those we must Our, go we must i must go we must this park. dog needs to pee we'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>